But this community is hurting. Mom is hurting. And so many of you all have given. So many of you all have called. So many of you all have came by. And by your showing today, it shows that you love and respect this family. I have her location because I paid the phone bill. I help her out too. And um, when I zoomed into her location and I seen the article about a woman shot multiple times and I zoomed in and then I see like on the right, it says South Point Landing. I start shaking as I was getting ready to go down there. I heard the knock on the door from the police officers and I already knew they didn't have to tell me. I already knew that it was her. Today's case will focus on Dominic, who suffered silently while protecting her loved ones from the reality of her boyfriend's brutality. She was a mother of two, a pillar of strength crushed by fear. But when her stillness ended, it wasn't her voice that cracked, it was her life, tragically taken by the man who had promised to love her. Today, we'll look at the terrible story of a lady who suffered silently and paid the ultimate price at the hands of someone who should have protected her. Before we begin this video, we would like to express our deepest sympathies to the family and friends who were severely affected by this horrible crime. We would also like to send condolences to Dominic's family and friends. Today's case takes us to Chesterfield. Chesterfield, Virginia, is the census-designated place and the county seat of Chesterfield County. Located just south of Richmond, it is part of the Greater Richmond region. The population of Chesterfield County is approximately 365,000. Chesterfield County is home to the Chesterfield Courthouse, one of the oldest still in use in the United States, and is rich in Revolutionary and Civil War history. Nini, whose real name is Dominic Fields, was born on December 27, 1998. To everyone who knew her, Dominic was a beacon of brightness. She possessed the unique ability to see the best in people and give them a genuine sense of love and recognition. Her spirit was always uplifted, and her presence could bring warmth and enthusiasm to any space. Her children were her entire world, and she lived with a great affection for them. She sacrificed herself for them, constantly prioritizing their needs before her own. Dominic exemplified selflessness. She was courageous, strong, and a genuine alchemist who, in the face of adversity, transformed it into strength. She was a good mother and a good person, according to her mother. Everyone loved her. Fields was a mama's girl, an angel, and a good-hearted person. Dominic never done anything inappropriate and she was always devoted to her mother. She was devoted to herself and her children and was always willing to help. Dominic cherished her roles as a mother to her two kids. When she gave birth in 2018, she was ecstatic and eager to share the news and the changes it brought about in her life. 2018 is introducing me to my baby girl, Natalie. It's a new year, but same Dominique, a grown-up Dominique, who's more driven, someone who's going to be about her things with no time for the extras. 2018 is going to make me better, better than yesterday, she wrote. She also had two children with 31-year-old Quadri Campbell, with whom she had a long-term relationship. According to reports, everything seemed ideal when they first started dating. Unfortunately, she kept her abusive relationship with her partner a secret from everyone. Maybe she thought he would change, but he didn't. They appeared to be a typical couple to everyone else. Despite the changes, she continued to keep her tight relationship a secret. Unfortunately, she would die as a result of the abuse she remained silent about for so long. On November 7th, 2024, just before 6 p.m., Chesterfield police were called to the 5800 block of Notting Hill Drive between Route 1 and Chippenham Parkway for a woman shot outside of her apartment home. Officers arrived and found a woman, later identified as Dominic Fields, 25, shot multiple times. They rendered aid before sending her to the hospital where she later died. Following the investigation, police issued warrants for Quadri Campbell, 31, for second-degree murder and the use of a handgun to commit a felony in connection with Fields' death. Campbell was apprehended in Chesterfield County the next day with the assistance of the Capital Area Regional Fugitive Task Force of the United States Marshals Service. The investigation revealed Fields and Campbell were in a romantic relationship and lived in the apartment together. 
25-year-old mother of two, Dominique Fields, lost her life during a domestic violence incident last week in Chesterfield County outside of her apartment. Tomorrow, outside that same apartment, her mom will hold a vigil remembering a young mother whose life was tragically cut short. A text alert and a headline. It's why Michelle Arazzo went to her cell phone last Thursday. I have her location because I paid a phone bill. I help her out too. And um, when I zoomed into her location and I seen the article about a woman shot multiple times and I zoomed in and then I see like on the right, it says South Point Landing. I start shaking. A gut feeling that something terrible had happened to her daughter, Dominique. As I was getting ready to go down there, I heard the knock on the door from the police officers, and I already knew they didn't have to tell me. I already knew that it was her. Chesterfield police were called to the 5800 block of Notting Hill Drive for a woman shot outside of her apartment home. She was taken to a local hospital where she later died. The following day, police confirmed the U.S. Marshal Task Force had the father of Dominique Field's two children in custody and charged with murder. Domestic violence, Field's mom says cannot be tolerated. She's a good person. She was a good mother. She had a good heart. Everybody loved her. Everybody loved her. She was like a little angel. Like she was a mama's girl. She was always attached to me, you know, and like I said, she did no wrong to nobody. She always liked to help everybody. And it was always about her and her kids. Again, the vigil will be at 4 p.m. Saturday afternoon outside Dominique's apartment at the South Landing Apartments. Her mom says bring a candle. There's also a GoFundMe that's been set up to help with the kids' expenses. That link can be found on our website, WTVR.com. In Chesterfield County, John Burkett, CBS 6 News. Michelle Arazzo, Dominic's mother, organized a vigil in honor of the young mother of two whose life was sadly cut short. The neighborhood, her friends, and her family came to pay tribute to the young mother. Family and friends gathered to remember Dominique Fields, a Chesterfield woman killed in her home. Thanks for joining us. Preet News at 11. I'm Roland Wilson. You remember we told you Chesterfield County police got a call just before 6 p.m. on no November 7th for a reported shooting. When they arrived to the South Point Landing Apartments on Notting Hill Drive, they found 25-year-old Fields with multiple gunshot wounds. She later died at the hospital. Tonight, Fields' mother held a prayer vigil outside that same apartment. A sea of purple, the color signif sig signifying domestic violence awareness, showed up in support. Investigators believe her boyfriend was connected to her death. But this community is hurting. Mom is hurting. And so many of you all have given. So many of you all have called. So many of you all have came by. And by your showing today, it shows that you love and respect this family. Campbell has been charged with second degree murder and using a firearm in the commission of a felony. Fields family has posted a GoFundMe for financial support. This story emphasizes the risks of domestic violence and the terrible outcomes that victims typically experience when they remain in a toxic relationship. We hope that everyone impacted by Dominic's passing finds peace and comfort. If you would like to stay updated with this type of content, please don't forget to like and subscribe. See you on the following video.